Linear Equations. This video is looking at finding equations from a sketch. Here's a sketch and it asks us to find the equation of the line that's uh, drawn down here. And we have a couple of bits of information here. We have uh, the line, the red line crossing or meeting the y-axis, the vertical y-axis at minus 2 down here. We'll probably use that at some stage. And we also know that it goes through a certain point. Uh, and that point in this case is minus 4, 4. It has an x value of minus 4 and a y value of 4. Let's see how we can use that limited bit of information, a couple of bits of information, to find the equation, the linear equation of this line that is sketched here. So we'll base this on y equals mx plus b. We know the m section talks about the gradient and the plus b section talks about the y-intercept. We'll use a bit of that. So we'll find three things first to help us piece together in a linear equation. First of all, we'll have a look at the y-intercept. Uh, that should be pretty obvious. It's where the line, the red line, meets the vertical y-axis there. And I've put a blue ring around that to sh help you find it. Uh, the y-intercept is minus 2, so we'll keep that up our sleeve. Another bit of information we'll find is the rise over run. Now this will help uh, help us to find the rise and run. We'll compare how high these uh, or the vertical uh, nature of these two uh, bits of information we have and the horizontal bits. Uh, we will uh, try and draw a right angle triangle between the two points. That'll help us uh, uh, break this up into a vertical component and a horizontal component. All right, so let's uh, draw a little right angle triangle between these two points. We'll go across from our y-intercept here and we'll go up and we'll make that a right angle. That'll help us find the rise and the run. Let's look at rise first. Now our rise is 6. Now I'll explain this a little bit here. If this has a y-intercept of 2, it would have had to rise. You would have to go from minus 2 there. You'd have to go up 2 jumps already. And then have a look at the y value of the point up there. That indicates that, that um, you would have to go up another 4. One, two, three, four. So you can see that the height there between the two points that we know about um, is six. The rise is six, and that uh, the rise between the two points there, in the, you know, those two points lie on that line. So the rise between the two points is pretty much the rise of the line as well. Let's have a look at the run then. That horizontal component down here. Let's have a look at what that. Uh, indicates to us the run is 4. Let's explain that one. Our x value on our y axis is 0. We haven't moved across at all if we're still on that y axis. So to get across to our point, our x value here of minus 4 um, indicates that we would have had to go 1, 2, 3, 4 places to the left there in order to go up to get to that point there. So that's where we got our 4 from. We're quite, kind of comparing an x value of 0 and an x value of minus 4 and saying that there's 4 units between those two ideas. Alright, so we got a rise over run there. The triangle helped us a little bit with our counting. And so we have a rise of 6 on top and a run of 4. Now, 6 over 4 simplifies down to be 3 over 2. We'll simplify any fractions whenever we get a chance. So we've got a rise over run of 3 over 2. That's our second bit of information that we've, we're gathering from this uh, situation here. And our last piece of information is that this line leans to the left. Now, previously you would have uh, remembered, hopefully, that... Uh, when a line leans to the left, the gradient section of our y equals mx plus b should be negative. So our m value will be negative. Now, let's piece together the y equals mx plus b by replacing the parts that we now know about. We've gathered quite a bit of information here. Our y-intercept is minus 2. So that's going to go into the y-intercept section of that uh, y equals mx plus b format. So our number tacked on the end there is minus 2 from our y-intercept. Now, we've also discovered that our rise over run, our gradient is 3 over 2 so we'll pop that into the M section there and we'll leave a bit of room there because our third piece of information is that M should be negative so if M is uh, negative that minus sign needs to go up there just in front of the uh, M value of 3 on 2 there to complete our linear equation so we gathered three bits of information we gathered our y-intercept from here 
we gathered our rise over run and we used a, a right angle triangle that we created to help us there. We saw that our rise was 6 and our run was 4. We pieced that together and simplified it a little bit here into 3 over 2. And our final bit of information is that a line leaning to the left has a negative gradient. So that minus sign came into our, um, into our compiling of our y equals mx plus b linear equation. So we gathered information from a small amount of uh, things given to us in the question and came up with a linear equation from just that sketch there. Sketchy details, I guess you could say. Uh, so we ended up with y equals minus 3 on 2x minus 2 just from those details. Okay, hope that helps. Uh, that um, explored finding a, an equation from a sketch and you can practice uh, some more varieties of that from your textbook, I'm sure. PeterBlakeMaths.com if you want to find some more maths videos to help you with your understanding. See you next time.